am no longer a human being. I am now a character from a TV show. Last time you saw me on the challenge was All Stars Season 1 during Backwards Canoe. Thought you the reverse parking, whatever the, one of these things are. Dumbassness. Rivals 2 when I was getting sent home by Preston and Knight. Yes! Yes! Unfortunately. The last time you saw me on the challenge, I came in with CT as a heavy hitter mid game. And then I exited. No one remembers. Final Reckoning, I was partnered up with Kyle, and I will say, it was a hell of an experience. <laughs> The last time you guys saw me in a challenge was Fresh Meat 2. 2012, and it was Battle of the Seasons. The last time that you would have seen me on the challenge was in 2006 for The Duel. Holy cow, my life has changed so much since I've been on the challenge. I'm married with a dog. I'm a nurse, a surgical nurse. I'm an old man. I read books for a living. I'm married, like, wow. <laughs> and I'm currently living in Germany. I'm now a wife and a mother of two. I'm a mama now. As weird as it sounds, he's given me purpose in this life. What makes me want to return to the challenge is all the cool shit we get to do. MTV called. I want to return to the challenge to see if this hot mama still got it. Wanted to show that I still got this. I have two teenagers that are going to be going to college soon, and I want to make sure they're going to college in style. And because I promised myself that I would never send my son into the world as an adult with debt. I'm ready to get that $500,000. I have this game in my blood, and there's no way to get it out, and I wouldn't want to even if there was. I'm in my 30s. It'd be really interesting to see what I'm made of. I had one thing left to do, and that was come back and win. From my original season, I keep in touch with Steve and Katie the most. It's Sean and Pavel, Gua and Yes. Janelle and I are very close friends. I was in her wedding. John A, Jasmine, Emily, CJ, and Bronnie. Zach, I was in his wedding. Derek. I have kept in touch with a lot of people from my original season. Kept in touch with Johnny Bananas, Karamo, who I know has only done like a challenge, Paula, Zach, and Tyler. Mainly Derek. Derek is like my best friend. And I love that our family bond from 11 years ago is still as strong as it was in the beginning. Walking the plank on the highest residential building in the Western Hemisphere, right over the ocean, 88 stories high. There was clouds beneath us. It was pretty intense, but I was really proud of myself because I made it through. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Bungee jumping while handcuffed on the Inferno, or putting on a chicken suit after Timmy's peed in it. The brick by brick Inferno against Kendall, and at some point, CT says, hurry the fuck up. And I respond, why don't you shut the fuck up? And it felt really good. Nani was my partner, and we were blindfolded, and we had to like walk through like electric fences. I hated it. I cried, and I just, I quit, because I couldn't do it, so. Meeting Sarah Rice and Caitlin in a puzzle. Hands down, my favorite. Making my way to the top of the hill and finding out that we won Inferno 3. Meeting LL Cool J on Rollerball, I mean, he was every girl's childhood dream, but we all wanted to be the around the way girl. CT and I went head to head in the final on dual one for a BMW motorcycle, and I pulled off the win. Like, even thinking back to that moment right now, I still get excited thinking about sitting on that bike knowing that I, I completed that goal. This makes every moment I've ever had challenge in real world history totally worth it. My favorite mission on Road Roll South Pacific would have to be the final because I got to win a car. And I love it. I love it. Probably my favorite Road Rules mission from Road Rules Extreme was also my scariest. It was the very first thing that we did, and we bungee jumped out of a helicopter over an active volcano. My mom's gonna be really mad about this. <laughs> no, she was like, I'm so glad you're alive and you're okay. <laughs> we jumped out of a plane and onto the beach. We were like, oh no. I think I praised God eight different ways um, during that jump, and it was one of the most magnificent experiences I've had in my life. We had to do a small eco challenge where we had to tend the bike with a bicycle built for two with somebody else and the other legs of the race. My most favorite is when we had to bungee jump because I was scared to death, and the craziest man on earth ended up being my partner and pulled me down. 
South Africa was amazing. Going to the continent of Africa for the first time after spending most of my life learning about Africa um, was profound. And the conversations that I had with South Africans um, from all walks of life and ways of being and knowing, it really opened me up to the narrative around South Africa being very layered.